What's up, YouTube? John here, JDS Outdoors. Shedded a little bit of uh, winter weight here in preparation for summer, being that it was 80 degrees today. But coming at you with a little update on four-wheel drive golf cart. Little update on how the sandblaster works. We also picked up another little project. So we're going to have two projects at once going on here. The other one's a little bit easier than the golf cart, but we need something to pull behind the golf cart, right? So why not pull a cute little boat? So let's turn around and uh, see what this thing looks like. 1981 12-foot StarCraft on this cute little trailer. 2001 Yacht Club trailer. I had the Johnson 15 horse already sitting in the basement. So I bought this last night, this boat trailer. Uh, the Johnson had a lower unit that had some bad seals on it. So I swapped out the lower unit real quick this morning with my parts motor. Went and took it for a spin. As you can see by the inside, she's a little damp and a little uh, ugly. The has a has a couple rivets that leak. So the plan with this is going to be real simple. We're going to get rid of all this hideous paint. We're going to paint it. We're going to put a bilge pump in it. Uh, I got a little battery right there for the electric start on the 15 horse and uh, we may put a floor in it or something I don't know we got the front end's a little too light so we got to figure out something to get this front end down when I'm riding solo but there's a few rivets that need to be fixed it needs to be painted up make look a little bit better and then we're gonna have a fishing boat also the trailer I'm missing some lights Throw some new wires in there and uh, see what happens. But, oh, we're going to strip this with some paint stripper. Picked up two different types here. I got uh, citrus strip with the gel, you kind of paint it on. And I got the quick stripper that uh, smells to all hell and you can spray it on. Uh, so we're going to see which one works better. We're going to do a little test sample up here on the front real quick. We'll do, uh, we'll do the orange on this side, and we'll spray on this side and see which one works better. So let's, uh, let's get some tools real quick and slap that on so it can do its thing while we go over the update on the four-wheel drive golf cart. All right, so we got the stuff ready here. Obviously, we can tell that the citrus strip is going to be a little bit more labor intensive, being you got to brush it on. But uh, let's see how well I can do this one handed. It's a nice gel, smells like uh, Sunday morning breakfast. So it's not uh, too harsh of a smell, odor-wise. A little bit up top there. Stuff goes a little farther than what uh, you would think. We'll try to do even coat here, or even sized area. Oh, also that seat bracket there. We're going to remove that, get rid of the sharp edges. Put in some new rivets. Just make a real simple, easy little fishing boat. Won't be much to it. We transom. Obviously this amount that I purchased today is not going to be enough for this entire boat but 
You gotta know which one works the best, right? A couple more swipes here. And we'll be done with this paint stripper. All right, so you can see the size of the area. We'll sit your strip. Now we'll make the same size area with the stinky stuff. This is very easy to do in one handed and film, but. And this stuff reeks. You definitely want to do this with the garage door open. All right, there we have it. Bow primed. Let's go check out four wheeler. So the four wheeler for the four wheel drive golf cart conversion has uh, given me a couple little issues. It doesn't like to run at more than a quarter throttle. So I clean the gas tank, put fresh fuel in it, put a little bit of sea foam, and I've been running it all weekend, driving it just like this, getting all kinds of looks, driving around town, trying to get it running good before I cut it up. So it's slowly getting better. I'm hoping I don't got to tear the carb apart, but it's probably what's going to happen. For the easy go, I got pretty much the entire bottom stripped with the sandblaster and I started working a little bit on the body and that sandblaster works pretty good I'm actually pretty impressed with it one thing I did notice with that sandblaster is the heavily rusted areas like that take a lot more time and a lot more media so it took me a hundred pounds of blast media just to sandblast the bottom of this uh, golf cart and the little bits that you see that are blasted on top which is what 16 bucks worth of blast media uh, speaking of blast media this is what I've been using this clean bite or uh, shark bite whatever you want to call it um, 60 to 80 grit crushed glass works great for removing paint um, even two layers of paint no problem you get into rust and it really struggles so saving this stuff to remove the paint off the rest of the body because it works really well for that I've been using also black blast um, which is recycled coal slag uh, it's it's Really good stuff for removing rust. Still takes some time, but it does a great job at um, removing the rust a lot more than the shark bite stuff does. So I got 400 pounds, 450 pounds of uh, blast media, and I have 300 pounds sitting here plus more in the blaster. Now the Harbor Freight 40 pound abrasive blaster is pretty darn good for the money um couple complaints and yes i know my handles are still on backwards it doesn't bother me it takes up less space for when i finally find a home for it um two complaints that i really have with it are one it comes with this awesomely crappy hood use that one time and then you can't see out of it and throw it away when you're done I went over to my local tractor supply. They sell blasting stuff. I picked up this Job Smart sandblasting hood. Uh, here it is right here. Hands down, this hood is way, way better. It's got a nicer screen on it. It's easily replaceable. The other one's replaceable too, but I don't, I don't care. Um, it doesn't cover you very much. 
has a little hard hat in there so it sits on your head in one place without moving. It's got vents in it so you're not sitting there uh, sweating like crazy. It was 20 bucks. Well worth the 20 bucks in my opinion. Another thing I wear underneath, which is complete overkill, is this full face mask with replaceable screen or uh, shield and uh, the dust filters because uh, that black blast has silica in it and you don't want to breathe that stuff in. Um, it's not good for your lungs. So my other complaint with it is it goes through these tips pretty quickly. So when you buy it, pick up an extra set of tips. But other than that, uh, I, I highly recommend it. If you have anything that is too big for a blast cabinet like this, you that portable blaster is, is great. Now, don't get me wrong. The blast cabinet's awesome too. But it doesn't do big stuff. So... If you want to do anything bigger than what fits in there, Harbor Freight is uh, has got some good options for you. So that's that's about it for the blaster. You know, highly highly recommend. So back to the boat. The clean stripper says it's uh, it'll work in 15 minutes. The citrus strip says it takes like 30. You can leave it up to 24 hours. So we're gonna let this stuff sit 15 minutes or so. See what happens. All right, so the clean strip on this side you can see is starting to lift that super thick paint that's on there. So we're going to take a good old trusty plastic putty knife and see how well it comes off. Thanks again for checking out JDS Outdoors. If you want to find out how well that stripper works, which one's better, tune into the next episode. As always, thanks for watching. And if you like what you see, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you have any experience with either of these two and uh, which one you prefer. Talk to you guys later.